Welcome back DIYers. If you have ever walked to your car and noticed a puddle, it might not be condensation. Our Passat here has a window washer fluid leak and in this video we're going to replace it. The window washer reservoir is located right behind here. And here's what the window washer pump looks like. All of the parts were purchased online and links will be in the description below. Or if you just want to look it up yourself, here's the part number for you. Since I have access to a lift, we're going to use it to give you a better view of how to do this yourself. And also, let me know if you like this vertical format. I make content on a weekly basis. Subscribe to catch those videos, and it also really helps out the channel as I work towards my first 1,000 subscribers. We're gonna remove the wheel liner so that you have a better view into the window washer reservoir and all the parts that we're going to remove. When you do this at home, you actually don't have to do this step, though it does make it a little bit easier. You can actually see the washer tank from the bottom of the car. Once you get a better view of how it's done by watching this video, you may be able to just reach up there and remove the parts without removing any of these liners. And here you can see a view of the reservoir. This hose here leads right to the pump. It's only secured by a rubber grommet, which we'll also be replacing. And up here is the fluid level sensor. That's also secured by an O-ring grommet, and we're going to replace that just because we can. To remove the pump, you kind of just wiggle it and push up and it'll come out. The fluid hose is secured by a little plastic clip. It's really easy to kind of pull it to the side and then the hose just comes right off. The wire terminal was a little bit trickier for me. I think it's just stuck on pretty good, but you can see here, kind of just take a screwdriver and push up. And before we take that new pump and put it on, there's a little O-ring grommet that's sitting in the tank and we need to remove that. So here I'm just taking a pick and we're just gonna fish it out. The grommet itself might be the source of the leak, so it's safer to just replace it. And we're also going to replace the other one on the sensor as well. And if you want that part number for the grommet, it's here and also again in the description below. We'll give everything a quick clean so that the new grommet sits in properly and doesn't leak. Putting in the grommet's pretty easy. Just kind of find the hole and push down. This part might be a little tricky if you didn't remove the liner. You'll basically have to do it by feel. And for the sensor, you just pull down and it comes off. Same thing for the grommet. It's big enough that you can just pull it out with your fingers. Our grommet that we pulled out actually looks pretty good and you could probably reuse it. But since I already bought the part, we're just going to put the new one on. And here's that part number if you want to look it up yourself. The new grommet should go in with very little fuss. Just play with it and it'll fit. Now that the new grommet's in place, we're going to use a little bit of dielectric grease. The grease will make it easier to slide the sensor back into place. We also don't want the new grommet twisting or snagging in any way, because that might introduce a leak. So put a little bit on the grommet itself and on the sensor around here, and plug it in. With the grease, the sensor should slide right in place. If you feel like you're struggling, don't push it too hard. I would take it out and add a little bit more grease and try again. And now we're ready to put the new pump back in. So we're just going to go in reverse order from what we did before. So first we'll put the connector back on. You should feel it click right into place. Next we'll put the washer hose back on. That connects to the outlet that's popping out on the side. It's a little hard to see in the shot since it's a cramped space, but you plug it back in and then there's a little U-clip that you slide back into place. Once you slide the U-clip back into place, the hose will have a very hard time coming back out. And from here, the only thing left to do is to stick the pump back into the grommet. And just to confirm, there's nothing holding the pump in place other than the grommet, so make sure you get it in there nice and tight and all the way down. And before we start putting the car back together, let's test everything. We'll have to refill the washer fluid, so let's do that first. And one thing to note when you're testing the wipers and the sprayer, the sprayer doesn't work when the hood is still open, so make sure you close the hood all the way. And great, looks like everything's working. And that's it, we can start putting everything back together. We'll put the wheel liner back on here, and then we'll put the wheel back on. And the torque specs for the lugs are 89 foot-pounds. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment below if this solved your problem. And please consider subscribing and liking, as it really helps out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alan, and this is Metaloop.